Welcome to the next thrilling instalment on my 30 beers for 30 years series, where I'm drinking 30 beers because I'm turning 30. A little, a little bit of a celebration for me, yay. So we, we're just going just completely batshit crazy with this beer. So it is from Omnipolo in collaboration with The Veil. Vale. It is their Tefnut, which is a hurricane smoothie. So it's coming in at 11% and it's a peach, passion, guava, strawberry, chocolate, triple fruited imperial goza. It's, it's, it's just this craziness that Omnipolo are known for. They're sort of one of the front runners for pastry stouts. And I remember drinking back in the bottle shop in Canterbury when I lived in Canterbury um, and going to like Omnipolo tastings that they had there and just being sort of absolutely blown away. I mean, lots of people have caught up in that time, but for me, they were the, the ones putting all those crazy flavorings in there. In their beers. So this is just a little a little nod back to uh to those days in Canterbury. Drinking on follow at the bottle shop. It is it was a bottle shop called the bottle shop. Uh, sadly it's that business has gone down the pan. But anyway, let's get this into a glass. It's a chunky boy. This is actually an Omnipolo glass as well. I got it as part of a, a, a tasting pack. So yeah, this is an eleven percent beer. That is that is chunky. That is seriously chunky. So what do we have here? We have a sort of a pinkish, orangish beer. It does look like a effervescent smoothie. Um, I've never had an effervescent smoothie, but this is this is what it looked like if if that was a thing. Uh, the head, the head, the head was quite substantial at first, but it's completely gone now. Uh, let's get a little sniff, shall we? Wow, I mean that's pretty crazy. I mean that's mad stuff. That is mad. It's given me uh, peach Bellini vibes. So peach is quite prominent. I'm a big fan of peach Bellinis as well. A pro proper ones, not like canned stuff. There's the ever so slightest touch of like shitty Kinnerton advent calendar chocolate. Yeah, there's something. Yeah, there's something a little bit more citrusy now, which which I'm going to pinpoint to the to the passion fruit and the guava. But that that smells great. Let's uh, let's go for a little taste on this craziness. Eleven percent. Oh. So many sensations, so many sensations, I'm feeling it. Okay, let's break this boy down. So that first initial sip, it's all, it was almost, for a split second, it could have been like I was drinking an Imperial Stout. Got hit with a rush of chocolate, it was a nice, thick, silky mouthfeel. But then that sweet chocolate just goes whoop. Then after, it goes whoop, with tart, citric sourness. Yeah, because of the dessert-like quality. Yes, yeah, reminded me of passion fruit cheesecake, which has an old school taste in there that I haven't broken out in a while. Oh God, they've got a real kick of sound. I said, I used to say passion fruit cheesecake on everything. But that legitimately does remind me of it. After those sort of initial sharp spikes of everything. There is something that's just remind me of a, like a generic fruit smoothie, but there is quite a sourness as well. Because of the sweetness, because of the sourness, because of that mouthfeel. You don't necessarily know that you're drinking an 11% beer, which is really dangerous. I mean, I've actually drunk a nice little amount of that um, very quickly. So I'll calm it down. Yeah, but that is just an experience. It's crazy. You wouldn't want to drink it all the time. You couldn't drink a vast quantity of it. Well, I, I couldn't at least. Um, but it's just, it's just craziness. And that's what I want from Omnipolo. I'm gonna crack open an Omnipolo beer I want it just to just freak me out. And and this one has. Let's pour all the rest in. Get all like, the muck in the bottom. <laughs> yep, so that was everything from Omnipolo. Brilliant collaboration veil. It was their Tefnut 11% hurricane smoothie. Peach, passion, guava, strawberry, chocolate, triple fruit with imperial goza. I've been Jake. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.